Morning everyone, it's Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead. Today, our chickens are going to the processor. So, saying that, I don't have a special way of taking those bad boys to the processor, so we're just gonna load them up in the back of the truck because I got this topper on. Now, nice thing is this thing's fully ventilated. And I'm not really sure how many chickens I had. Started out with 50. I should be down to 40 or so because of the attacks I've been going through. But we got an appointment and we got to get going. So we got to load up. Okay, so I set some bait out for that owl. Like I said, it was a little old car chamois or hand mitten, wash mitten. I set it right up on that step and it's moved. So we're going to check that SD card and see what he did if he took the bait or not and what he did this thing <laughs> but all right we gotta get a business we're on a tight schedule we're just gonna load them up in the back of the truck so you got one loose he's gonna run inside he's gonna run inside oh you got lucky he ran inside oh he got extremely lucky so we got 38 chickens oh 39 chickens plus we're keeping one little guy Mm -hmm. We're keeping one little guy because he's way too small to process. That's this guy right here. He's going to be part of the flock, so this is what 39 chickens look like. We got a processor to be at, so we got to get going. Out of that, what, 39? Did you see uh, the one with the, with the bad eye? I think when the owl took him. Probably because he didn't see it coming. <laughs> We're here. We're at Duncan's. Duncan's. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Let's go check out a store. Man, we need some nesting boxes like that, don't we, bud? Yeah, we're just gonna have it in the middle of their head. Easy cleaning, long lasting. Um, That's the one right there. Yeah. We're gonna put something like this in our new chicken coop. What, sweetie? Is he Stuart? Is it just me or is he Stuart Little? And this, <laughs> that's, a, that's a big bird. Yeah, it's a big bird. <laughs> You can get it? <laughs> get it? How much is it? Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, it's cool, that is. Bring your money? back from the processor my camera died my camera battery died people so I apologize but coming home I was looking at what I think we're gonna call Stuart Little we don't know if he's a boy or a girl yet so coming home seeing uh, Stuart Little over here where the meat birds were once at I saw something I was like oh my god is that another chicken did we forget a chicken it was that dang wash mitt I was like oh my gosh I think we forgot a chicken so we finished out 110 pounds of chicken is what we got out of 39 birds Not too bad. I wish I would have kept them a little bit longer. We could have got those things just a little bit bigger And they would have been perfect, but I had a great enjoyable time sitting up there talking with Duncan's oh, I really wish my camera battery didn't die and it seems to be that case all the time Either way, I got to get these chickens unloaded. We're gonna put them in the garage freeze. I got them in coolers right now 
we'll put them in the garage refrigerator for 24 hours and then we'll work on uh getting them in a deep freeze the deep freeze that we bought hasn't shown up yet and hopefully we'll have it here i think by thursday that means uh we'll put our chickens in there and then we're going to put our beef in there as well mmm not too shabby it is possible to raise your chicken six weeks from egg to processing that is no doubt in my mind a possibility would i recommend doing it uh yeah sure i guess so i think i'd do six weeks again with the uh, knowledge i have with the new feeder or with that feeder situation i had uh, also speaking with uh the people at duncan's and the owners at duncan realizing that young chicks don't do very well with gravity feeders with that type of feed which i did not know uh they suggest trough feeding or the pan feeding like we did within like the three weeks and they really started packing on the pounds when we changed the feeding up so I think if I was to do this again next year in six weeks and know what I know now with the feeding and the owls, <laughs> I, would, uh, I wouldn't be afraid to process in six weeks again. Not a doubt in my mind. Um, I think if you push these birds that I had to eight weeks with, with the Gen X that they had, you would have six pound, seven pound tur uh, turkeys, chickens. And it would be a little too big. Now. I love me some fried chicken, but that's some that that's that's some hard cooking if you're trying to fry birds up that big. So, uh, yeah, the only thing we got to do now is we got to wash the back of this truck out. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, since we cut off feed 24 hours. They didn't they didn't tear it up as bad as I thought they would, but man, it's still nonetheless it it's ripe. Oh, that's so bad. So needless to say, the chicken part is taken care of. The only thing we gotta do now is we gotta get that half of beef. I really wanna show you guys what a half of beef looks like. I know people have seen it before, but I wanna show you a completely brand new freezer, 16 cubic foot with chickens and beef, what it looks like and how much it's gonna hold. We're not talking about beef from last year. We're not talking any of that stuff. We're talking empty freezer, start to finish, half a cow. But right now, we got to get these chickens out of here that are in this brooder and those two pheasants. We're going to put them down there where the meat birds are growing up. We're raising them up. Now, we're not going to let them free range out there because eventually we want to introduce them to our new flock. But we got to get that cleaned out with the tractor, get that put somewhere. And uh, let's go watch this video of this owl or whatever it was last night hitting that wash bitten down there because I've been itching since I pulled that SD card out to see what the heck was on this because I want to see this dumb owl's face when he realized it was in the chicken that he was grabbing on to. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, you're gonna want to get your boots on, bud. Oh, <laughs> uh, what were you thinking? I didn't know you were gonna do this yet. <laughs> I heard the tractor going and I came down here. That boy is nuts. <laughs> Oh, that's a big mound. <laughs> oh, 
Right? Cameras need a little close up. Yeah, <laughs> a little close up. He does. It's been a rough day for him. All his, all his buddies disappeared on him. Mm -hmm. If he's sleeping next to you, that's a good sign that he feels comfortable with you, bud. Nice. We got the coop cleaned out. Now we just got to go up to the garage here, load up the birds, and show them their new home. And Mama's home from work. Howdy. I'm not ready to deal with crazy birds. Oh, you got to get it done, though. That's I know. They're here. nuts, especially those pheasants. What do you guys think about this big old area you got? Like, there's so much space to run. Back to the fence. There's so run. much room for activities. So Look much aerobics in here. So many activities. What's going on? I wish I knew you if you're a boy or girl. I think he's. I think it's a girl. Yeah. I think it's safe to give it a girl's name. What do you think? I think so. His little thing will bother isn't that big. No. It's not the it's not the size that counts though. But I think he it might be a rooster because I see some nubs here. Oh. Yeah, I think it might be a rooster, bud. Yes. I definitely see some spurs. Oh, dude, he is just sitting right on you, man. How is that possible? Why are you doing this? Uh, bro. Um, uh, you know, there's a thing where we got to keep six feet distance from one another and <laughs> those personal space issues. Uh, I think you need a you know, work on that. <laughs> Man, give your manicure so you get nailed on a hawk nails. Well, if you take after your old man, you won't have to worry about scratch marks on your neck or back. What do you mean? Oh, well, look at you think these chickens are settle in just fine? Oh, yeah, they're like, mm, mm, mm. yeah. But the pheasant have been like, 